How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another YouTube video. So today I'm going to be talking a little bit about Bobcat. I hate to be making this video, but I feel like me as with the platform that I have have to hold these companies responsible. I made a video on Nebra, made a video on Synchrobit. This is similar, not the same. I don't want you to cancel your order if you have a Bobcat miner. I am just going to be talking about what I think has been going on with Bobcat I know I'm not the only one that is having these issues. I'm going to get into this, but before we do, please make sure that you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications to be notified when I upload new videos. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. I don't know if anyone else has been having these issues that are watching this video. If you are, you're most likely watching this video, but for the past couple of weeks, my Bobcat miner has been struggling significantly compared to other helium hotspots around me. There is a rack miner up the road. There is an OG helium hotspot near me as well. And there was also another Bobcat. Now, I've compared all of them, all four of them, and there has been a couple helium updates here and there. But for the most part, the Bobcat ones have been struggling significantly all because of their over-the-air updates. These over-the-air updates have been killing miners. There is hundreds of people commenting when on bobcatminer.com when they post about the over-the-air updates, talking about how, it, here it is, bricked my unit again, gap is slow, it's causing their miners to resync for no reason. It's like, why are you pushing these updates? People are like, are you even testing these updates before you're launching them? It's a very valid point. This is the third time in the past week I've actually had to reboot my miner because it is not receiving the update because there is something wrong with the miner. My earnings have been down and it is ridiculous. So I'm going to go to my actual screen and I'll show you guys what's going on. All right. So as you can see here, this is the Bobcat website. This is going to be in the description below. They have every update that they have announced over the past couple of weeks, and it seems they've made an update every four days, with the exception of this, when they had one th th uh, three days in a row with a gap and then one right here. It's It seems ridiculous that they're pushing this many updates, and it seems that every update that they're pushing out is causing another problem to arise. I'm all for updates. It means that you guys are trying to make these products last long. I appreciate that. But when you're pushing these updates out and it's causing mass disconnections, mass uh, miners down, it is severely disrupting the network. So if I go here, I'm going to give you guys an example of my personal account, uh, my hotspot. So let's find it here. This is it. I think this is it. Yeah, here it is. So as you can see that in the past 24 hours, I have gained 0.0000196 or five zeros. In the past seven days, I've had my earnings down significantly in the past couple of days. And I've had two days, right, or three days almost, September 5th, September 6th, and September 7th, possibly September 8th, where I had zero earnings because my hotspot was resyncing and it wasn't resyncing the whole amount it was just resyncing like a little bit because of an over the air update that was applied then the earnings went up and i was like oh sick my earnings are up i also made my antenna higher up in the sky i'm like oh this is great it's actually working and then we're right back to the same situation 0 0.09 helium 0 0.22 which i'm okay with but then 0 0.00 like literally nothing my miner had to resync i had to reboot it and i actually got the notification that it needed attention because there has been no activity for a certain amount of time i am just beyond upset with how bobcat is handling this and they're completely ignoring their customers at the end of the day they are providing us a service and we are thankful for it but there are risks that come with being able to provide the service you have to be held responsible and accountable when things like this happened and you need to address them so they have not addressed them yet i'm not sure if they're going to i have faith in bobcat i understand they're a company people make mistakes companies make mistakes but they have to get on top of this do you even test anything before launching it why can't bobcat catch up to the blockchain anymore that these are very valid it would be nice to test these over-the-air updates. Bricked my units again. 
The gap is closing so fast now. It looks like it was constipation of the network. That's actually pretty funny. Rewards down 99%. Tried power cycling the miner, but it increased the gap. The miner sinking has been consistently behind the blockchain. Gap now 108. I have an Ethernet connection. Port 44158 is, is open. IP address reserved. Not type night. None. No errors. Ping test fine. This is the longest time with virtually no rewards since these problems started about a week ago. That is probably the perfect comment to summarize exactly what's going on. And if I were to go on to the Reddit, so now I'm on the Bobcat Miner page and you can see this is getting ridiculous. It's trending on the Bobcat discussion too. Look at this. Bobcat has become a complete piece of mm. <laughs> They're ripping into Bobcat. Brick Cat, yeah, I'm going to need that refund. Mo uh, they are, these updates are BS. It's like the IT guy asking if your computer is plugged in. Yes. So it is ridiculous. It almost seems like Bobcat is trying to sabotage themselves. I do not understand why. It does not make sense. I feel like Bobcat was one of the biggest, most successful miners that was out there. And now that they're struggling, it's going to put a huge dent on the Helium network. Thankfully, SenseCap is now coming in and they are providing a very good product as well. I actually have one right here, getting it set up. I wish I was sponsored by SenseCap, but I'm not. I just got this device and it's it's sinking right now. But Bobcat is just completely dropped the ball. I have no clue what's happening with them. Uh, hopefully, within the next week, things get better. Like, I just... This is just the most disappointing thing ever to me. It's not even that I'm not getting a lot of rewards. I can understand that, you know, not every day is going to be a great day for rewards. But the, the thing that bothers me, if I'm actually going to be providing to the network, is that my activity has been nothing. Two days ago, two days ago, two days ago, all of this stuff, I received a very minimal amount of HNT, but it's it's been like two days ago, and then there's probably going to be a gap here where it goes from three to five days, and it's it's just ridiculous at this point. I understand there's helium updates, there's bobcat updates, but the bobcat updates should not be this many. It sh it should not be there should not be this many bobcat updates over the year without testing them. Apple, when they push out a update, they test it. Now, I understand, I completely understand them pushing out the update, thinking it's fine, and it failing because a mass deployment is much different than a small scale. I personally think Bobcat, and if you guys are watching this video, I'm trying to help you out here. If you guys want to make updates and push them out, maybe you should start a beta program that people can opt in so they can receive these updates and you can actually reward them somehow, some way. I'm not sure if you guys even want to reward them. Most people don't. Just give them the opportunity to test, beta test these updates, let you know if there's any problems with them. I will gladly beta test if you guys want me to. Like, no bias, give you guys the problems that are happening. I'm not going to give you a super technical detail, but I'll tell you like, hey, my earnings are literally nothing. And this guy who, he's made $7.86 in the past 24 hours and he's relayed and he has a rack miner. I have a Bobcat and I'm synced and there's nothing. So Bobcat, let me know. That's all I got for you guys today. I, I just wanted to express my opinion on this and I like making these opinion videos because it's just me talking, expressing my opinion and the truth, the truth that is what's happening with Bobcat. These companies need to be held responsible and accountable for. If you guys have any questions, if you'd like to discuss this more, if you have similar situations like me where your miner has been down sinking for a ridiculous amount of time, please let me know. I'm trying to see how many people are also facing this issue? It seems like I have friends that also have Bobcat miners. They are all going through the same thing. And even if you have a small deployment, let's say you have four or five miners in an area, if one of them goes down, it is affecting all of them. So even though my miner is down and it is greatly affecting me, no earnings, no activity, it's also affecting all the people that would have witnessed me, which is even bigger of a problem. So that's all I got for you guys. Please make sure that you like, subscribe, turn on your post notifications to be notified when I upload new videos. The next video coming at you is a sense cap video. I got my sense cap as I showed you guys. I'm going to be doing an unboxing, testing. I actually took the thing apart because it wasn't working for me. 
and I will show you guys all of that. So I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day.